I want us to take a few more prayers today. I don't intend to preach, so I intend that we pray again today. Uh, I feel like we should sustain what we received last week, or what the Most High started to do last week. So, I would want us to take a few prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alright, the first prayer we are going to pray is a very simple prayer. Very, very simple prayer. I am a child of God. I am an altar of God. But before we start off, I want us to recite this. Alright. This recitation is important because a new mindset is what we have and what we want everyone to have. A new mindset. Somebody say a new mindset. A new mindset. Yesterday in our fellowship, as we were having the Shabbat fellowship, we discussed what is mindset. Who can tell us the meaning of the word mindset? Huh? Sister Messi Kabayaron, what is mindset? Can you come over here and get a microphone? According to the word of the Lord, where? To. Yes, go ahead. According to the words of the Lord in uh, Colossians 3 2, setting our mind on Him. Let our eyes and mind focus on things above, not on things in this earth. And don't let our heart be the world for everything in Gen 4 and 1. So trust God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. She answered the question with the scripture, right? Amen. But then I want to get English definition of mindset. Attitude. Attitude. Okay? I want you to listen very carefully. This is important. So the first person says attitude. So what is attitude? You're raising your hand. Action. Okay, action. Thank you very much. You see, the children are part of the game. All right. Action. Yes. The state of your mind. What kind of state are we talking about? Are we talking about Alhambra state or mental state? Right. State of your mind. Yes, madam. Doctor. I go ahead, sister. <laughs> Your set of opinions that guide your thinking. The very thing that guides your thinking. The very set of opinions that you hold strongly, you don't easily step out of. That is what is called mindset. It's an opinion that has become a foundation inside you that all your thoughts are processed by it that is mindset so we want to make sure that the things that form our mindset are things that are spiritual hallelujah so that is why we want to be reciting this why should we recite it because the things you recite become embossed, planted, stamped in your memory. The things you recite. How many of you were cramming in the school days? Yes. Right? You did cramming, right? Yes. yes. And you want something to stay in your mind for a long time. You recite it. You say it again and again and again. Hallelujah. It's a lovely say hallelujah. Okay. Now, so we want to recite this and I will plead with you to do it often. Plead with you to do it often. In fact, if you can take a photo and say it for yourself in your own home, it's nice. Because it reminds you who you are, what you have been made, where you are placed, 
what you are capable of and what the Holy Spirit in you can do. It removes timidity from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to recite it? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Come on, are you ready? Yes. I told you I'm not preaching. We are just going to do some stuff today again. Now, can we all stand up? Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to recite this. Uh, make sure, children, you look up to that very one, right? Okay. No drinking. Keep your drink. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. Can we all go? One, two, go. I am a child of Yahuwah, for I am born of his Holy Spirit with the incorruptible seed of his word. I am washed with the blood of Yahusha, breaking off the curses of sin and death, and now a new redeemed creation in Yahusha. Hallelujah. I have been transformed and transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And now manifesting the nature and character of the Most High through Yahusha Hamashiach in me by the power of His Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I am a son of Yahuwah. I have the mind of Yahusha to understand and know the things of Yahuwah. I have been filled and empowered by His Spirit to walk in obedience to His Word. I am untouchable. I am in partnership with Yahusha in this ministry for reconciliation and rehabilitation of His chosen people. I am working with Yah in establishing the kingdom of heaven by the principles and commandments of Yahuwah clearly revealed in the scriptures. I do not walk blind anymore for my eyes have seen His glory. I am walking in victory already concluded and established for me before I was born. My life is hid with Yahusha in Yahuwah, and I live because he lives. Hallelujah! Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. I live because he lives. Will you listen to the testimony of our sister that was about to take her life? You will understand that only reaffirmation reaffirmation of God's love, God's grace, God's mercy is what will keep people, including myself and yourself. So you must learn to reaffirm these things to yourself because I may not call you to reaffirm it for you. Nobody may call you on the phone Nobody may be there when you needed it most. People may not remember you that very day that the battle is hot. But the Bible says if you fail in your days of adversity, your strength is small. In other words, you're not going to blame anybody. You can only blame yourself. This is why you must learn these words and reaffirm for yourself. When you are in the deep, when you are in the dark, when you have walked into a way of darkness, when you walk into the valley of the shadow of death, David says, I fear no. Because sometimes when you walk into that place, there will be nobody but only you. And at that point, you must reaffirm. You. I want you to say to the Father, I thank you because your spirit is in me. 
go ahead and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you because your spirit is in me. Your Holy Spirit that you have given me. Thank you for your Holy Spirit poured out upon us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit poured out upon the children. Poured out upon the men and upon the women. Upon the young ones, upon the aged ones. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you because you poured out your spirit upon us because you love us. The most expensive thing upon the face of the earth is your Holy Spirit. But you poured him unto us and filled our lives because you love us. And we thank you. We thank you, O oh Father. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you this afternoon because you are in us. You are with us. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. We will never walk alone because you are always with us. Every moment of the day, irrespective of our circumstances, Holy Spirit, you are always with us. When we cry, when we laugh, when we are in tears, when we feel forgotten when we feel down you do not leave us you are there with us when we are weak you are with us making us strong when we are down you are with us lifting us up when we are hungry you are with us feeding us with your food of the spirit when we are sad you are bringing us joy when we are lost and confused you are bringing us peace oh sweet holy spirit we thank you we thank you. We thank you. Arriba suri manakuri masi yarama makunde. We thank you. Andara mama shinde rama kunde ri manje hende ya kaya. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Andara mi shinde rakunde ri shinde. Andara mama arriba suri manakuri. inside me. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What empowers an altar is the spirit behind the altar. Every altar that is active is active because there is a spirit behind it. But there is an understanding I want you to have right now. And that understanding is that you are also an altar. Because the Holy Spirit is living in you. So you can stand as an altar and challenge another altar. Because the Holy Spirit is inside of you. You stand by the power of that Holy Spirit that dwells in you. You declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. In fact, you are better altar because any other altar may be stone or wood. But you are a human. You are a living altar. The Bible says we are living stones. Living stones. I want you to say to the Father, I thank you. Because my life is your altar. And your spirit dwells in me. My life is your temple. And your spirit dwells in me. I thank you for sanitizing and sanctifying this altar, which is my life. And I thank you for your power that is active in me and through me. And today, as I declare and pray, I thank you that my declarations will stand. I thank you, Father. Come on, let's begin to pray. Father, I thank you because I am an altar. I am a living altar because Jesus dwells in me. Your Holy Spirit dwells in me. I am a living altar because your sacrifice of the blood of Jesus is shed abroad upon my heart and upon my soul. And I thank you that as a living altar, my declarations will stand. And as I shall declare this afternoon and declare your power, your word, it shall stand and it shall not be argued. It shall not be argued. It shall not be argued. But my declarations will stand. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Bless be your holy name. I am his altar. I am his altar. Beloved, I want you to know that you are an altar. You are an altar. And you can speak. You can declare. You can establish. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. First prayer. The Bible says on that day, the Philistines carried the Ark of the Covenant. Hmm. They laid their hands on the Ark of the Covenant and they carried it into their city. And the Bible says they went into the temple of Dagon and laid the Ark of the Covenant of the Most High before the idol called Dagon. But the Bible says when they came out in the morning, the altar of Dagon, the statue of Dagon, fell to the ground. Hallelujah. 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 In other words, wherever you bring in the ark of the Most High, wherever the altar of God comes into in fullness, in full reality, every other altar there will do what? So now you are going to say, every altar that is speaking against me, today I realize I am a living altar. I rise against you and I command you in the mighty name of Jesus, fall before me. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for the realization that we have today. For the scripture says that at the time of ignorance, God went past. We are no more ignorant. We have come to a time of knowledge and understanding. And the Bible says when we come to this understanding, we will resist the devil and he shall flee from us. Today, I stand as your living altar because that your spirit is in me and who are you dwell in me I am a living altar as it happened on that day when the act of covenant was brought before the altar of Dagon and the statue of Dagon fell on the ground I stand as your altar and I decree over every altar established in the sky established on earth established in the waters that is speaking against me that is speaking against my children that is speaking against the solution assembly that is speaking against the families in this house in the mighty name of jesus yahusha hamashiach i command you Lose your hold. Lose 
your influence. Lose your power. Lose your influence from the minds of the people of the Most High. Right now, today, 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 I dethrone you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. I dethrone you. I dethrone you. I dethrone you. I break up the stones of your foundation. Thank you, Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Every altar of poverty, every altar of sickness, every altar that is afflicting your prayer life. Notice that some of you, you need you used to be very prayerful, but somehow you're no more prayerful. You have become weak. You feel tired always. You can't pray. There is an altar that is making you weak. There is an altar that is bringing that weakness. And as long as you are in that weakness, every other affliction will work. Because you are no more able to act as an altar. So every altar that is afflicting your life, bringing you to weakness in prayer, weakness, 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 spiritual weakness, we are going to rise against them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me now? Yes, sir. We're going to say every altar of poverty, every altar of weakness, sickness, every altar of delay, every altar of unrighteous mindset. We spoke about mindset earlier. Every altar of unrighteous mindset for and be gone from me. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. Father, we rise against every altar of sickness, every altar of disease, every form of generational sickness in any bloodline here. Every form really that is suffering under the yoke of poverty, never breaking out from poverty in the mighty name of Jesus. People will go and walk and come back yet stay in poverty. They never break out of poverty. People will walk in different places but the family is not Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know something about these evil altars. Some of these evil altars are dedicated just against a family. They are constituted and dedicated just against one single family. All they do is keep warring against that family. They keep waiting for somebody that looks like a bright star. Once that person rises, they start to hammer that person down and pull that person down. Every other person that is not in righteousness, they don't care. We are going to say, every dedicated evil altar against my family, my bloodline. So now it's no more about you. 
It's about your brothers and sisters. It's about the children that will be born in your family even many years in the future. But you are going to liberate them today. Somebody shout hallelujah. Every dedicated evil altar against our family. I rebuke you and I punish you. I reject you. You are no more going to officiate against my family. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall share. prosecutor will speak and then the defense will speak there has been some things that are spoken against us for this favor we are now going to speak for favor every form of mark of this favor today we are going to ask that by the virtue of the blood that was shed on the Calvary, the blood that speaks eternally, by that same blood, every mark of this fever be wiped off, completely erased, completely. Every mark of this fever against your bloodline, let it be completely erased. If you pray this prayer right, you are going to see unimaginable favor begin to rise. Not just for you, but for your brothers and sisters here and there. You are going to see a transformation begin to happen for your family. Every evil mark of this favor be erased by the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Power in the blood of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. Father, the blood was shed for my sake. It was because of me and my people that Jesus went to the cross. It was because of us that he died. It was because of us that he was nailed to the cross. It was because of us that he took on flesh and blood. And poured out his blood that speaks eternally for us. Therefore, Father, in the mighty name of Yahushua Mashiach, let the same blood that speaks better things, better than any other blood, not even the blood of Abel, begin to speak over my family, over my bloodline, over transformation assembly. Father, let every mark of this favor, every mark of this favor against our lives, against our bloodline, against our children, against our women, against our men, every mark of this favor, in the mighty name of Jesus, be wise. I establish favor. I establish goodness. I establish mercy. I establish loving kindness. I establish breakthrough. I establish greatness. I establish the light. I establish wisdom and understanding. I establish loving kindness and knowledge. I establish goodness. I establish marriages. I establish children, child bearing. I establish abundance. I establish prosperity. I establish joy. I establish it. Let our lives be established on His goodness. 
For we are people of His blessings. Oh, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, I lift the soul of deliverance in this house. Let no one ever suffer from any kind of satanic, demonic, devilish, occultic, aggressive depression, denial, destruction, dispossession, delay, father, death, rejection, disfavor, all kinds of evil. I, I raise the sword of judgment against all these evil activities and may they be slain. Let them all be cut asunder. For it is the double-edged sword of the spirit, even the sword of the word of the Most High. Let it cut them asunder. Ah, all that man will praise Yahuwah for his goodness and for his wonderful works. For he has broken the gates of bars. And he cut the bars. He cut the bars. He cut the chains. He cut the yoke. They shall no more hold us back. We give you praise, Father. We give you all the glory. In Yahusha's mighty name, we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, rain. Rain down. Rain. Yeah. Hey.